YouTube. It's your boy Rebel POC. If you ain't hit that subscribe button, please hit it ASAP. So I want to talk about this Kanika Jenkins case. Uh, man, it's crazy. It's very crazy. And, and what's so crazy about the whole ordeal is that none of it makes sense. And I find when a lot of stuff don't make sense, it's because there's no sense to be made of it. What actually, uh, but what actually has taken place and sad but true is that the hotel and the police department are hiding and, and, and uh, destroying evidence, rearranging evidence. And um, it makes you think, damn, how did they get in? How did it get that deep? How did it go from these little, these little dudes, these clowns, these fucking Satanist niggas that was in this party, kickback, whatever it was, how did it go from them raping her to her walking to the freezer to her being locked in the freezer to her dying to the police not putting out the actual real video to these pieces of the, of the video missing? Like, how did all this come into this big-ass conspiracy when it started with these little hood niggas who were so fucking destroyed and so fucking, fucking, uh, sexually driven, probably fucking faggots for real. How did all this go from these little dudes raping her to this big conspiracy? Like, it don't make sense. Like, how could... Because I'm pretty sure the, the, the dudes who, who actually raped her don't have nothing to do with what happened later. I'm, that's just my... From the conspiracy that it became of this, those dudes just raped her. This is what I'm thinking. And maybe they killed her, but somebody helped them cover it up, and somebody in high places helped them cover it up. So let's investigate the little dudes. Who were the little dudes? Well, one of those were one of those little dudes uh, the son of a, a politician or something? I mean, come on. It, it, it's something, man. It, this shit don't make sense. But let's say that uh, and then it's clearly mind-boggling because then you got another video service and of a girl who's uh, probably pretending to be drunk because they said that it's not her. They said that this girl was a little bit more heavier than than Kanika. So if that's the case, that means somebody actually went through the trouble of acting like her to act like they was drunk. And wobbling all through the hotel to make the presumption that she was drunk and wobbled and went to the joint and locked herself in. Now, if that's the case, that means somebody came up with this. Like, they came up with this in, like, a nigga time. So, that means that if all of this is, is, is what actually happened, it is, it's only right to say that they raped that girl and the girl died. How she died, they say it was a heart attack. This is what they said on, on social media, one of the killers. She died of a heart attack while she was being raped. So if this is the case, this means that she died of a heart attack. They didn't know what to do. Some One of them knew the hotel. The the Somebody at the hotel. One of them knew somebody at the hotel that worked at the hotel. And when it got them, that's how they got the room. When it got that individual and say, hey man, this happened to... She died. They, they probably lied. And that person thought, all right, well, we could put her in the freezer. And that's what they did. Now, how did they make it to the freezer with her without being seen on the camera? So that lets you know that this is a higher up, whoever these people know. So that tells you that the video you got isn't a real video. So that means that they might have did got somebody to act like her. To show her wobbling through the hotel and actually going into the freezer. Or they don't have the video of her going into the freezer, but just her being in that area. Okay? But now they said that this video of her wobbling through the hotel went on for about an hour. So, me thinking, I don't think that uh, the people who conspired to do this would have... Uh, 
got somebody to wander through that hotel for an actual hour. But let's say they did. I, I just don't think. I think it'll be moved too fast. I think too much stuff will be happening for them to put that together that quick. So let's say they did do that. Okay, cool. All right. Now, what hotel at 2, 1, 2, 3 in the morning, there's no one in the hallway. There's nobody at all during the hour and some change that this girl is walking through this hotel drunk, falling down damn near. There's nobody in the hotel. No one's going to get ice. No one's going to get sodas. No one. Now, come on. I, I've been in a hotel all my life. 2, 3 in the morning, I've been in there. Someone is up 2, 3 in the morning fucking. Someone's thirsty and just got finished fucking and they're going to get that ice or they're going to get some soda or they're going to get something. No, you're not going to tell me for an hour and some change, this girl, no one checked in at 2, 3 in the morning. No one's coming in from the club. No, no, there's no staff in this motherfucking hotel for an hour and some change, period, on the cameras. Nobody else has walked through that hall. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's clearly, clearly a conspiracy with the hotel. Now, whether they pulled the wool over the actual police department, I don't know. But now they're saying that the person from the hotel got ties with the goddamn police department. So it's it's like, why will all this be a big cover-up over someone who died and maybe had a heart attack or who would do all of this with their hotel, with their jobs, with everything and, and possibly put themselves in a murder case. Who would do this? Who? Who would do this? It got to be way bigger than what we see. So we'll have to get the autopsy. Now, the autopsy, in my opinion, is going to show the real cause. Y'all gonna say this crazy. With with, with the cover up of, of this magnitude, it has to be. It has to be that they had to steal their fucking organs and shit. That's the only thing I could think of. There's a lot of that shit going on in Chicago. They taking organs and they shipping them and they selling them, things of that nature. That's the only thing to me that would make sense of this whole case is that this was actually a sacrifice killing and they took her organs. Hence the conspiracy. That would make sense of why someone went through all this trouble to cover up this small urban girl. And in this in this urban situation, it's like an urban situation. It's like girl goes to the party with her friends, dudes at the party, clowns, dumb niggas that never had a father or nobody in their life to give them any type of of morals and the girl end up getting raped by these dudes. That's like a, a typical urban, you know, something that happens in, in, in the hood. Now, the girl getting killed, that kind of happens at a hotel with a lot of friends and a lot of witnesses. Never, never in a million years would, would urban kids be caught up in a big conspiracy like this to where you cannot find out what's going on. It's been covered up. I've, I've never seen that before. So this is way bigger than the rape. This is way bigger than them dudes. They ought to go to jail and they ought to bring the motherfucking electric chair in the courtroom. As soon as they say guilty, ice them right then and there for even raping a fucking 19-year-old girl. Like, what type of dude are you... That you would have to rape. You know, they say he pulled uh, the, the knife out and said, oh, I'm going to get some of that by the end of the night. Like, what? Who, who is, like, what? Where is this dude, mother and father, at, or his mother? Like, and, and if his mother had some type of something, it was, you know, she was getting high or something like that, then, then, then like, man, we, we got to do better. As a community, and as, as we got to do much better, like, we gotta stop letting these fucking this, this fucking music and 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 TV influence and run our kids' life, yo. And if you're a single mom and and you're doing it on your own, you got a hard-headed little ass kid. 
Send his ass to jail, my nigga. I ain't even fighting no bullshit. Lock is a dumb ass up. You can't control him. It's better him in there than out here fucking with one of my kids. Because I'm going to kill his motherfucking ass. Ain't no whole lot to that. With my ID on my forehead in front of the motherfucking 5th precinct. Blow his motherfucking brains out. Don't make sense, man. So I... To, I don't know, man. To, to everybody that's out there in, in, in the hood and these urban... Watch your kids. Watch your kids. Fuck all the... Oh, they old enough and they gonna be mad at me if I don't let them go. I'll get a little freedom. Fuck that. You don't get no freedom. That's just what it is. You want freedom? Let's go. Where you want to go? Skating ring? To the movies? With who? Your friends? Cool. Go ahead. I'm going to take you. I'm going to drop you off. I'm going to be across the street in the coffee shop. When you're ready, let me know. Ain't no whole lot to that. Where you want to go? See it? You, you can go see it. Go ahead. Who? You your friends? I drop y'all off. I be in the mall. Drinking a latte. Waiting on you. I ain't letting my kids get out of my motherfucking sight. Because white America is designed to put the thought in your head to do something dumb. To do something vicious. Just think about it. Look how many people you see holding a camera up and filming another human getting their ass beat, stumped, drugged, choked. No one tries to intervene. No one tries to stop it. Hey, oh, crap, nothing. Break it up, nothing. They'll sit right there and literally record somebody being killed just to put it on live, just to get a view. This is the mentality, but we don't even know that. Like, they don't, they not sitting here thinking like, damn, I'm sitting here watching this person get killed. Because they've just seen it so much. It's the norm. It's what you're supposed to do when somebody ready to die. You're supposed to record it. Heartless. Cold-hearted. Cold-hearted. America has made the citizens cold-hearted. To the point where when things go down, Armageddon, and we sit around, it's nothing for us to kill each other. Because we're already prone in our heads. It's nothing for us to kill each other. It's already prone. We sit there and we look at it every day on social media. We watch people watch people get killed. We watch people watch people get killed. Yeah, it's cool. And as long as we, you know, allow our kids to... All this little Uzi, young thug. All these niggas, like, uh, man, Chief Keith and all that. And I don't knock nobody for, for getting your money. But at the end of the day, you got to watch what you're feeding to your fans. If you're doing that to get some money, get some money. Next album, switch it up, nigga. Stop promoting the same negative, violence ass shit that you not doing. Most of them niggas acting like they faggots and they ain't faggots. They doing it to get money. They changing the minds of our kids and got our kids out here being gay when these niggas is living in these mansions and these big cars and these big nice ass yachts and shit. And they ain't gay. They got a girl and kids. But they promoted the gay shit to the community. These niggas ain't violence. Talk about sticks. I get the stick and all that. And most of these niggas is not shooting nothing. You 16. Where have you lived? Where have you lived? Where have you done to be able to shoot a stick? They ain't. They lied to our kids. You have a good ass kid in your house, never been in the hood, been going to school. You've you been trying to raise them right. They might be little TV holics and little telephone holics, but they ain't been doing nothing. But you'll see your motherfucking daughter, your son on social media doing this. Bow, 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 bow. Man, da, da, da. Throw it up. Man. Bitch, this motherfucker ain't never been in the hood. They ain't never been in the hood. But they turning into the suburb kids. Huh? Uh, yeah. They turn into the suburb kids. Because, see, a lot of us, we have figured out how to get out the hood and, and move into these, even though they still part of Section 8 homes. But we move into a different neighborhood where we have different classes of people where People all got jobs, and you know, it's, it's not the, the average urban community. And so, our kids are growing up not in that community, but they're still in that community mentally because they're in the phone. Man, 
man. This shit is crazy, man. And that's why Dr. Umar said, Umar Johnson said, the black man has to be with the black woman, period. A lot of y'all out there hating on Dr. Umar and say, oh, he ain't got no PhD, or he ain't got this and that. I don't know what he got. Do I think he got it? Yeah, I think he do. But it don't matter to me what he got, because I listen to the message, not the messenger. They always try to distort you with that. Oh, he ain't this. See, what the fuck? That don't mean that because he said don't walk in the street to get hit by a car. That that was a lie because he ain't got a PhD. Okay, fuck the PhD. It makes sense to me that he said don't walk in the street to get hit by a car. But they fool you with that. They fool you with the credentials. None of these crackers got credentials. None of this shit real. None of this shit exists over here. A lawyer, the bar, the judge, all that shit is from another country. That shit ain't over here. So what is credentials? We ain't had credentials in Africa. The man who was wise, they call him the wise man. He go to him to get information. Why? He was here longer than everybody. He seen more than anybody. He knew. He didn't have a PhD or a master's. He just knew. We forgetting who the gods are. We are the gods. So when the gods speak, fuck you don't check a god's credentials. Do you ask God, God, who, um, how you, how do I know that you can heal this or that you know this? Hi, let me see your credentials. You got a PhD, a school system that was made by the fucking crackers. You want to see a fucking PhD from a system that was made by the crackers. A system that they stole from us and make us get a PhD and masters in the same shit that we taught them. Y'all worry about too much of the wrong shit. Dr. Umar said a black man is supposed to be with a sister. Why? Because if not, he's going to kill of our race. If not, he, the, all the rich black men is giving their money to the white community right back because you're marrying a white woman. It's common sense, my nigga. It's common sense. I'm worth $100 million. I'm going to marry a white woman. When I die, the white woman get the $100 million. Her family is rich. The white people continue to take our money. Common sense. Why wouldn't I leave my money with a sister? So she can get back to my community. The community that the scales has been stepping on the whole time. Why? Why would I do that? Y'all got to wake up, yo. 1981. On iTunes right now. Track 19. Wake up. Go get it. Go look at it. Hit subscribe on that motherfucking button right there. You want to hear more real talk from you, boy. Rebel POC. Subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram. POC underscore entertainment. Rebel POC. Instagram, Curry Womack Ill on Facebook, Egghead about chill. Rebel.